Hi guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this baking video. For these cookies, we're gonna first be working on the cookie dough. And then I'm just going to be rolling my cookie dough using my rolling pin with my space bands. Once I have done that, I'm just going to be taking my cookie cutters and I'm just going to get two E's out of this. I just showed one because, well, it's gonna be the same for both. Then one K in my exclamation mark. Just arrange them to as whatever shape you want them to bake. So once our cookies are baked, I bake them for about eight, five to eight minutes, but just keep an eye on them. First, I'm going to be using purple royal icing, and I'm just going to make an outline and filling of three sections of my cookie. Run in with my scrap tool, and I'm just going to arrange everything so it you know dries smooth and without any air bubbles or anything like that. Just to arrange everything before it dries. And I'm just going in with my yellow and I'm just going to go and make the outline and filling of the spaces, the empty spaces that I have in between. And I'm just going to again let it dry. Once I've done that I'm just going to outline with orange and then pretty much going to work on the, those lines, kind of like the separation of each color. And at this point I am, it kind of looked to me a bit of a spider web so I went for for like the spider web theme here by just adding two lines of that and then I'm just going to add a spider here and there and to add the spider I'm just going to first draw the legs of the spider with my edible marker this is like a kind of sharpie but it's edible and then I'm just going to add the body of the spider which is you know drop of icing realizing in black and then I'm just going to start working on the my witch hat because I figured the colors that I was uh, working with already kind of like remind me of witch. So I'm just going to add a hat. For that I'm going to first base myself from a template that I found online, a drawing that I found online. And pretty much here I'm just telling you how I draw it. I'm going in with some tape so my wax paper doesn't move. By the way, I'm working over the smoothest part of my wax paper on the top. And then with my black realizing, I'm just pretty much following those lines of the hat and just filling the whole hat as I go. And then here my black realizing is starting to crest, but it's not crest all the way. So I'm just going in with some orange and just kind of like, you know, make some decorations on my hat. Once my orange is dry, I'm just going in with my yellow and adding, you know, touches that I figured would look nice with my hat. Not my hat, my witch's hat. Once it's done, once it's crusted, I'm just going in and outline, I'm just going to outline my hat. Just because I figured um, it would look better if I had some dimension in there. You're just going to let this crust. I let it crust for about 24 hours, then you're going to peel off from the wax paper. It's pretty easy to come right off. And to add that to the actual cookie, you're just going to add some real icing, and then you can attach the hat. This is how I made the whole thing uh, dry. The second letter is going to be pretty easy. We're just going to add some realizing blood for that you're going to be needing a red realizing and pretty much going randomly you don't even need to be like super clean for this yeah i'm just being messy as i can and then i went with my scrap tool and pretty much um arranged the whole thing to just smooth it i know this is messy but i still wanted it to look somewhat flat and not so like messy and you know all over the place and yeah just take your time until you're happy with how it looks like. And then for the third um, letter, in the last letter pretty much, I'm just going to go with my black realizing and first work on my outline and then the filling. Pretty much what we've done before. And then going with my scrap tool. So yeah, just everything looks smooth before it dries. I'm just going to give it few hours for it to dry and I'm just going in with my orange color. To be quite honest here, I don't really know what the design is. I guess it's like, it reminds me of a, you know, a candle, an old candle. There's, the wax is like dripping, sort of, <laughs> like that. 
that's what I'm going for in here. Just um, making sure like my orange is kind of falling and dripping and looks kind of creepy. And my exclamation mark is going to be pretty simple actually. First I'm going to with a small dot and here I'm just going to kind of like draw, we could say a drop of blood that is like following in there. Although at the end I did um, wait for it to dry and then painted my background, my sides, um, simulating this was the background in black. And as far as for the rest, this is supposed to be like Dracula and I'm just going to draw well, add the whole thing in it with my realizing first, starting with the edges of that, kind of like making them pointy, as pointy as I could make them. And then for my feet, I just pretty much draw or just applied one in square shape and then waited for that to dry a bit or just to crust and then I added the rest of them just giving some time you know between them and then i'm just going to add some kind of um, blood just simulating that is dropping on the bottom part of this and i'm just going to arrange my realizing to just kind of look like like it was dripping or something like that and painted the rest black i couldn't find the clip where i was you know doing this but this is pretty much what i did as you can see right there it's pretty simple and this is pretty much it for this idea i had so much fun making this one making each cookie different in a different design to be honest i didn't really like the second one the second e it would have looked so much better if um, my realizing was a bit thinner so the falling of the icing would look more natural well if you go for it try to make it with thinner consistency to see how it works for you happy halloween to you if you celebrate it and have fun if you liked it don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff give me a thumbs up and share it thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you later bye guys